Hey guys, welcome back. Winky here. Hope you are all doing good. Today I'm going to show you how hackers controlling Webview's beef hacking tool that is nothing but browser exploitation framework tool which is powerful to grab information from any browser. In this example, I will be using Windows 10 as a victim's machine and Virtual Kali Linux as a hacker's machine. So both are two different machines running on two different platforms. Let's see their IP address. On your right hand side, you can see Kali Linux IP address, which is 192.168.1.178. On the left hand side, you can see victims machines IP address that is ending with 1.156. And also we can see victim is already browsing Facebook. Let us create a temporary email for victim so that hacker can send malicious email to victim's machine. So now I'm going back to hackers call a Linux machine to set up beef hacking tool. Beef tool is available in call a Linux by default. If not, we can use apt git command to install. To start the beef framework, just type beef xss. It will start beef service which is running on port number 3000. So you can see the status as active or running and also the framework will give you web UI as well as the hook JavaScript. We can log in into web UI using beef beef as username and password and this web UI will help hacker to execute remote commands on the victim machine. And we can see on the left side menu there are no online browsers which means no active hooks are available offline browsers are nothing but old or inactive hooks so as we got the hook.js already let us create a html page and um, inject that hook.js into that web page whoever accessing the web page their browser will be hooked into the beef tool to host the web page i am starting apache 2 service and then I created a HTML page called parcel.html and then injecting hook.js in the header section of the HTML page so that whoever opening this HTML page or web page their browser will be hooked into beef framework. As the malicious web page is created let's send this web page to the victim's email. Here, a hacker is composing a catchy email with a malicious web page. Whoever receiving this email, by any chance, if they click on this link, their browser will be hooked into Beef Framework so that hacker can steal a complete information from the browser and a hacker can control their browser as well. This is the easiest way hacker can take control of the victim's machine. So whenever you receive an email from unknown people or untrusted resource, never ever click on the link from the email. All the examples I'm showing here is only for educational purpose. Do not try this with anyone without permission. Okay, now let's send this malicious email to the victim's temporary mailbox and see what happens. Email has been sent. So hacker is waiting for victim to click on the link. On the left hand side we can see victim have received that malicious email. As the email looks interesting, victim may click on the link to know more about this email. Exactly that's where the place hacker will take control of victim's browser. As I mentioned victim clicked on the link and you can see that URL which is pointing to hackers call Linux machine. And on the right hand side, hacker can start seeing victims who could browser. I'm checking the victim machine IP address just to validate. Yes, it is matching. So from here, hacker can start controlling victims web browser. As I mentioned, this browser exploitation hacking tool will allow hacker to execute remote commands on the victims machine. There are plenty of commands which are available. I will show one after another in this example. As the first one, let the hacker send an alert to the victim browser. 
so we can search for alert dialog and a hacker is composing a alert message by clicking on execute button alert message will be executed remotely on victim's machine we can see on the victim's chrome browser a pop-up message is appeared which means victim's browser is in hackers control hacker can send any message to victim directly using this attacking tool next is i'll show you how hackers can steal credentials for social networking websites before to that hacker need to know what are all the social networking websites victim login using that browser hacker can use detect social network commands for the same we could see victim is already logged into facebook on their browser hence this command should detect a facebook login and return here we can see the command results for social networking websites it says gmail not authenticated twitter not authenticated but facebook is authenticated yes because as a victim we logged into facebook and the command detected it as the hacker identified victim is using facebook and already authenticated in the browser he can create a fake login attempt to steal facebook credentials hacker can use pretty theft command in beef framework and sending a fake facebook login pop-up to the victim browser these are all happening without any interaction by victim we are just triggering command directly from hacking machine as the pop-up appears victim may think facebook session expired and um, they might re-enter facebook credential in the fake login box as soon as they type the credential it will be captured by beef tool which means hacker can see those credentials directly on the web ui that's all it is very simple for a hacker to steal facebook credential using this tool hacker can try the same option for linkedin youtube and other social networking websites as well now i'm showing the similar example for linkedin we can see linkedin credential captured in the same way the next example i'm going to show you is how hacker can get a geolocation of a victim hacker can send get geolocation command to victim browser so that the browser can execute location api and return the result victim will never know about this request response as this will be happening behind the screen we can see the command result here that returned the exact gpa location of the victim and the country state region plus the time zone so this is one of the easiest way hacker can get the exact gps location of any victim likewise hacker can take a control of victim browser to play a sound and it will be played automatically also if victim is using any old web browser which is supporting adobe flash then hacker can take a control of their web camera next i'm going to show you how hacker can steal last pass credentials by any chance if victim is using last pass we can send a fake notification to harvest last pass credential similarly hacker can send a fake notification to victim browser fake notification can be linked to any malware or executable in this example i'm using reverse tcp executable i named that as adobe underscore update dot exe so that i can send as a adobe update notification to the victim as soon as victim opens this exe hacker will get complete control of that machine itself not only the browser the whole computer will be in control of hacker the next one is hacker can send a command to steal cookies from victim browser generally cookies will have some sensitive information on the browsers hackers will be always targeting to steal cookies here we send the command and we got some cookies from the victim browser let's see what that cookies means 
we can see cookie contains some payload and this looks like a json web token let's try to decode this json web token and see what information is available that's interesting the cookie payload contains some name authentication token and the role these are all the good information for hacker to start any exploitation the next one is hacker can control victim browser to redirect any url so here i'm sending a command to redirect victim browser to a random news website similarly hacker can send a command for google phishing as soon as victim enters their google credential it will be captured by beef tool whatever i showed here are only few commands but beef tool have plenty of uh, exploiting commands which hacker will be using it so how we can stop this kind of exploitation first thing is never click on the link which was sent by unknown people note that as soon as you click on the link your browser control goes to hacker you don't need to do anything further hacker can start controlling your browser automatically and always check the website urls whatever you are browsing is secure and um, trusted by any chance if you clicked on the malicious link you can identify whether hacker is controlling your browser or not go to your browser inspect element and the network you can see plenty of background request response happening very frequently which means hacker is controlling your browser that's all for today guys thanks for watching we'll meet you in the next video please subscribe share and comment see you again